Hi, I'm Damon Cortese, a principal developer advocate for analytics on the EMR team at AWS. And today I'm here to talk to you about Amazon EMR Serverless. EMR Serverless is a new deployment option for Amazon EMR available in preview today that allows you to easily run your choice of open source big data frameworks without worrying about managing clusters or servers. It's simple to use, fast, and saves costs by paying only for the compute time and resources that you use. In this demo, I'll show you a couple things. First, I'll show how easy it is to run a PySpark job using EMR Serverless APIs. You just provide your code and EMR Serverless will dynamically scale at each stage of your data processing application. I'll also show you how to spin up a Spark history server so you can easily debug your job while it's running or after it's finished. Let's get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and create a new application on EMR Serverless. You can see here, we're going to use the Spark application type and EMR 6.5. I've done a little bit of prep work ahead of time, like creating an IAM role for my job and uploading a simple PySpark script to S3. In this script here, we're just reading some weather data from the NOAA Global Surface Summary of Day dataset from the Registry of Open Data on AWS and doing a simple count of the records in the year 2020. For the preview, you need to go ahead and start the application you just created. EMR Serverless will have auto start and auto stop functionality that allows you to only use the resources you need for your job. Our application is starting and once we do one more get application we can see that it is now ready. So let's go ahead and submit our job. You just provide your application ID, PySpark script on S3 as their entry point, and you can also configure an S3 location for your logs that will be populated while the job is running. And that's it. Now we can use the get job run command to see the status of the job while it's running. Your application automatically provisions, configures, and scales workers to run your job even as more workloads are submitted. Let's take a quick look at how we can debug the job while it's running. During the preview, you can use a Spark history server Docker image that uses the logs on S3 to monitor the job. If we take a quick look at the S3 directory, we can see our event logs up there. And in that directory, our Spark logs that we can use in the Spark history server. As you can see, we can start up the Spark history server here and we can see the job as it is running. There's no completed applications, which is to be expected. So if we look at the incomplete application section, we can see our weather job right here. We can click through to get more detail about the job. Right now it's just lift, listing uh, directories on S3, so it's not doing too much. But pretty soon, uh, several of the executors will spin up and the job will continue running. You can see here, we've got 20 tasks running right now. And if we look at our event timeline, we can see there's the driver that got added and new executors are getting added throughout the course of the job. If we click on the executors tab here, we can see all the different executors that have spun up and the different jobs that they are currently executing. Looks like that completed. So now if we go in here and look at this job, on the get job run command, we can see that the state is now success. So the job is all finished. Those logs have all been uploaded to S3. You can see here it's in the completed application list. And now we can actually go in here and look at the full history of the job. We can see all those executors spinning up and there's our job right there and all the tasks. And if we click over the executors tab, we can see that even more uh, spun up during the course of the job as new uh, workloads were being added. So now that the job is finished, let's take a look and see if we can find how many weather records there were in 2020. So here is our S3 log URI that we provided to the job. And if we look inside that log URI, the Spark driver standard out logs will be inside of this Spark driver prefix right here. And so we can list there, we see our standard out, that is gzipped, and we can take that standard out, copy it down locally, decompress it, and let's see how many weather records there were in 2020. Looks like there were about 4 million weather readings. So that's how easy it is to get started. So that's it. We built EMR Serverless to make it simple to use for data scientists, data engineers, data analysts, and really anybody that wants to run big data jobs. There's no servers to manage and you get the latest open source releases within 60 days of release. You can use EMR Serverless for auto-scaling multi-tenant clusters for teams, scheduled data pipelines, or interactive workloads like notebooks, SQL editors, SageMaker Studio, and EMR Studio. Next time, I'll talk about how you can have instant job startup with pre-initialized capacity and also how to run a Hive job.